Good Thursday morning, everybody, and happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all the veterans who have supported us around the world over the years, to the men and women of the military. Thank you so much for all your service, and we certainly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what's going on weather-wise to start off this Veterans Day. We've got 39 degrees to start the day off at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury. Temperatures in the upper 30s to mid 40s around the area depending on where you look we've got 48 degrees out at charlotte at the mid at the excuse me the charlotte douglas airport which is the warm spot on the map and some changes are on the way let's go ahead and just take a look here as we pan out you can see we've got the cold front making its way through the central part of the country and as it continues to move through uh to the east these rain chances, this line of showers and storms you see out ahead of it will start to move into the county and the area as we go through the afternoon and evening hours. You see some showers developing out ahead of it down in South Carolina and Georgia. Those will continue to move northeast as well and pulling off the Gulf, and they will actually move in ahead of the line of showers and storms that's coming with the front. So we'll see some isolated rain chances as we go into the early afternoon hours and then more widespread rain chances as we get into the evening. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's dive in closer to home and take a look at what the models are showing. And you can see we've got, uh, this is at 1 p.m. this afternoon, and you can see uh, a small line of showers out ahead of it, and then also some isolated showers in front of it as well. We'll take it to 2 p.m. now, and you see we're starting to get some isolated showers into the county. And then as we head to 3 p.m., we get a little bit of a break, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. This is that uh, area that's out in front of the line that will start to really move through. This is 6 p.m. and at 7 p.m. You can see here comes the main line starting to move into western North Carolina, 8 p.m. I've got to give it a second to load. There's 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11. This is now midnight, and as we head through the overnight hours, the rain chances really start to amp up. And I uh, can't rule out a rumble, of, a rumble or two of thunder and this is now going on 3 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and then by 6, we start to dry out for Friday. So if you got outdoor plants today, I wouldn't necessarily cancel them. Just have some rain gear available in case you need it. Mainly during the daytime hours, we're looking at some isolated uh, rain chances. And then as we head into the evening hours and get to the late evening hours, that's where that line is going to start to move through. We'll continue to keep an eye on it and make you aware of anything that changes with it. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the weather impacts for today. And we've got a little bit of everything going on. We've got mostly cloudy skies this morning. Gradual clearing will occur as we move through the day to partly sunny skies. Winds will be out of the south at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Rain and thunderstorm chances increase as we move through the afternoon and evening hours. And then rainfall amounts of a quarter to a half an inch are possible. Most of that coming during the overnight hours. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. We'll see partly sunny skies today, high of 71. Rain chances start to increase as we get into the afternoon and evening hours. The more widespread rain comes in late in the evening. So we'll start off with rain chances maybe around 30% uh, for the early afternoon, and they'll gradually go up as we go through the evening hours to 90% by, this, uh, by late this evening. On Friday, we start to dry out and we cool down as that cold front will have made its way into the area. Partly sunny skies, high of 67. Clear skies Friday evening with a low of 40. So if you're heading out to any of the playoff high school championship football games around the county, it's going to be a chilly night ahead for you on Friday. We'll have more on that tomorrow with the high school football forecast. We've got sunny skies on Saturday, high of only 59 degrees. Clear and cold Saturday evening with a low of 29 on Sunday, we'll see sunny skies high of 54, partly cloudy skies Sunday evening. Could trap a little bit of heat in. We'll get down to 33 on Sunday evening. And then on Monday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of only 53 degrees with clear skies Monday evening and a low of 28. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Wednesday, or excuse me, your Thursday. Again, thank you to all the veterans out there for everything you've done for us, all the brave men and women who've served in the military for us. We certainly appreciate your service. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.